What's up, everyone? You're tuned in to the Channel Eves episode 135. I'm your host, Eat Mom, because there is none other. Sorry that I haven't been posting on a daily basis. It's just been a very productive past few days. And finally, I can sort of sit down and decompress because there have been a lot of very productive meetings and follow ups to the point that I'm like, I need to take a nap because there's so much, there's so much going on. Uh, so much so that uh, I forget to, uh, to do an episode. So I apologize for that. However, I'm going to have a little bit of fun, It'll be a short episode, but I thought about I do a little show and tell the sort of the convenience store goodies that I usually pick up when I'm traveling. As some of you know, uh, Japan is known for their plethora of convenience stores. Now, when we think of convenience stores here in the West, in the United States, or in Canada, we think of like, you know, the Quickie Mart, um, you know, the, you know, all those little, like, even the, even the 7-Elevens in the United States, the 7-Elevens here in Japan are is a completely different game changer. Um, it is, I like to think the part of the, uh, what's the word, the, the, every, almost every single block, well, not literally every single block, but sort of like every few blocks, you will always find a convenience store there's a loss in there's either a family mart or 7-eleven or something else it is the 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 heart and soul of of what bringing communities together uh through these convenience stores uh they all congregate get your snacks get your get your coffees it's it's like the uh the heartbeat that's the word i'm I'm looking for the heartbeat of of communities um congregating to get their goods so on that note some things i picked up this is kind of cool i I saw this because it's the pinkest packaging i've ever seen uh it's it's jelly beans it's got different types of flavors right um i don't think it's anything unique or amazingly different compared to some of the nice jelly beans in the west uh, but they do have a little chewy um they're very flavorful i bet you it's like full of sugar uh but very chewy so it's got a nice chew to them you know and there's a nice texture to it so i thought i'd show you this poiteful 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 now another really well-known brand is mintia and they're it's from asahi as you can see they have different they have different uh, flavors but basically they're like little small mints okay so like if you open one up here it's like a little it's like a tic tac let me get it out here there we go this is the size here but you know don't let the size fool you you take one of these and it is the most it is a strong minty taste uh, but I think it's um, it's always nice to pop one before you have a meeting, just to you know have a bit of fresh air, you know, some good some good breath, you know. Speaking of good breath, I always like the for those who don't know what this is, this is dried squid, like like dried squid, and um, they have different assortments of preparing squid to pick it up. I I. I love squid. I love seafood, and I love dry squid since I was like a, I was little, because in you know in Chinese culture too, we also have dry squid too. It's you know not particularly in Japan, but it's throughout Asia. Um, but Japanese uh, dry squid is bar none. It's good stuff. It's really good. So I always kind of pick one up for myself. Uh, what does it look like? Let me see. We'll open one up for you. Well, I mean, as the picture shows but like essentially they're like like this like they're all they're cut into strips they're ta- they taste great and it, it typically you would like have a beer with it but i don't drink so i just eat it straight out of the bag you know what i'm saying other thing i get ah oh, i got aquarius i get these like 
um, also get Pokari Sweat. These are sort of like, uh, how do I say, um, at, um, what is that? electrolyte type uh, drinks. And uh, again, I mean, these are, you could get these in Ottawa, actually. There's Asian marts, they have them, but at least they double or triple the price. It's crazy. Oh, it's still Thursday. I'm eating a lot of that dry squid. And then I need to chug this one down. So these are good. Picard Sweat or Aquarius, two different brands that offer the same, pretty much the same product. Another thing that's very famous, and I'm sure you find these all over the world, is cup noodles. Instant noodles. You can't go wrong with these. You gotta get, you know, the hotel I'm at, they got the kettle, boil the water, put it in there, let it simmer or soak for like a couple minutes and you're good to go. Um, not recommended to have these all the time, okay? Because, you know, it's MSG and all that crazy shit in here. But when I travel, I like to spoil myself once in a while, and I indulge a cup noodle from time to time. Um, what else do I like here? I, you know, I always get my uh, boss, I mean, my uh, my 7-Eleven coffee. I don't have it with me right now. I don't have it with me right now. Uh, I, uh, I already drank it, but like... <clears throat> I dare say the coffee at the convenience stores, okay, it's particularly either Family Mart or 7-Eleven. I like 7-Eleven better. I don't know why. Maybe it's the, the packaging's better. <laughs> but I, I, essentially, it's the same. Like the, the taste is actually, I like it. It's, it's comparable. It's probably better than Starbucks. And you're paying like $1 for a small. And it goes a long way. Like it's it's great. It's strong. It's like I, so. I can't compare. I mean, I can't. I can't complain about it, right? I mean, at home, my place, I have the drip coffee set up. I do that. That's great. But something instant and the quality is, you know, not too bad. It's it's definitely. Uh, I have no issues with it. It's a special novelty for these places. So uh, I always get one of those copies when I'm going. And of course. I know this is not Japan specific, but they have a lot of gummy bears and little gummy variants, you know, whether it's like jelly beans or like Japanese type gummies. Like today I just started to get some Haribo. I don't know, I've just been craving gummy bears and gummy worms for a while. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, look at that, see? It's all localized, it's all Japanese, whereas you go to the Haribo or the, you know, in, in Ottawa and Canada, right? Or in the States, you know, it's, you know, everything's in English. But yeah, once in a while I like a snack on that. Oh, what else do I have? I have I have hold on one second. I have Oh yeah, I got more. And I got popcorn. I gotta open a bag of these, you know. I got a ready bunch on this. Now I'll open some lightly salted popcorn. I tell you, the packaging in Japan is phenomenal. Like this is really high quality packaging. Like so like, Anywhere else, like the popcorn will be will disintegrate and break into pieces because the, of the packaging is so light. But this is robust, like it's good. So I always get some lightly salted popcorn. I don't like like crazy flavored caramel, blah blah popcorn. Like I like popcorn as it is, and it's lightly salted. Yeah, adds a bit of punch. But I I, I just don't understand why um, people like like coating it with so many different strange flavors and all that um that's just me my opinion oh and of course typical you know rice crackers and peanuts i like so all right, i thought i'd maybe do a little show and tell um and it, these things are by no means are not expensive they're very affordable so um people who are traveling on a very tight budget and want to snack on things the convenience store is your absolute best friend. So there you have it, folks. I thought I'd just do a little quick um, little show and tell, the things I get in the convenience store. Um, but yeah, like, as far as my trip is concerned, everything else is good. Like, you know, people ask me, why are you in Japan for so long? Like, what, what are you, what is, what's, the, like, what's the whole point? Are you that busy every day? The answer is no. Of course not. It'd be crazy that every day I got to do something. Um, the reason why that I am traveling for a month is because one, yes, I do need to do my B2Bs and meetings with my uh, potential clients and also to, to continue to foster my relationships uh, with the Embassy of Canada uh, because I foresee that there's some really uh, great alignment and great synergy in which 
I can be of service of my digital um, my digital arts and my digital creativity and innovation. Uh, and and uh, there are a lot of interesting alignments, as I mentioned, and um, perhaps collaboration down the road. Now, as I mentioned, as, as, as a creative entrepreneur, like, look, these things are not going to come to you, right? I have to instigate these things. I have to initiate these conversations. Otherwise, there's nothing. Otherwise, nothing will get done, right? I have an idea. I think it's very solid, very really sound, and um, something compelled me that I should start um, making moves and make these things happen. Now, is it? Do I know it's going to be a sure win? No, I don't. But as a creative entrepreneur, part of me investing in myself to action these things is what is necessary to move the needle, to move the innovation needle, to move my progress as an artist needle, move the 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 creative and the 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 new creative path that I seem to be. Uh, moving towards uh, needs to um, uh, needs that push needs needs me to be here to make it happen so um, and then the other side the second of all and the other thing is because like you know summertime I didn't go anywhere really I stayed put so this is a little bit of vacation take it in relax eat some Haribo gummy bears go for a nice hot bath onsen, a little bit of vacation for me as well. So it's a bit of both. There's always a bit of both. And I like those days that I just want to relax and wander around the city. To me, this is, as Rick Rubin's book, The Creative Act, A Way of Being. You know, we artists, like it may, it may appear that we are just like wandering around and not doing anything. But in fact, the very act of doing that is subconsciously, I think, affecting the way we look at the world the way we do things the way we execute the way we create make art it's all part of the way of being it's the our way of life so even though i say i'm on vacay but really i'm just walking around observing absorbing reflecting and that is very very important for every creator aspiring creator and the entrepreneurial way of life. So that's it. That's it. Anyway, hope you like what I said. Please like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, this is the Channel East, episode 135. I will talk to you guys again soon, hopefully tomorrow. Until then, have a great weekend, everyone.